What most people think they know about human trafficking generally involves images of large cities such as New York City or LA. What you see on TV shows like Law and Order or involves corruption and organized crime. And that is rarely the case. It often involves parents or family members who sell children for money, drugs, or something else of value. And the reality of human trafficking is that it is happening right here in Elkhart County. These children are our neighbors and students that we may know. It is not a crime that solely exists in the dark corners of a basement. The victims walk into the same grocery stores, gas stations, and restaurants as everyone here. Trafficking cases that we've seen and what that might look like is a 14-year-old girl who meets someone on social media and identifies them as a friend, and they end up meeting in person. That um, child then travels across state lines, enduring multiple sexual acts along the process before they're recovered here in Elkhart, where then they come and do a forensic interview. It can also look um, something that's maybe less recognized, which is a 13-year-old whose parents are addicted to drugs. And then those parents then give her drugs where she becomes addicted as well. And where the trafficking comes in is a child or that child specifically is being traded to do sexual acts in exchange for more drugs um, by the hands of their parents. And then eventually they take part of that themselves where they're exchanging sexual acts on their own for more drugs to continue to get high. CFAC is an accredited child advocacy center where our trained interviewers conduct forensic interviews, which is a legally sound, non-duplicative fact-finding interview at the request of our multidisciplinary team. These forensic interviews conducted by CAPS employees um, are done at such high quality and provide um, evidence and facts to the law enforcement, which aids in their ability to charge and send those cases over to prosecution um, and provide closure at times to children based on their alleged perpetrators being sentenced. Elkhart County CASA is a program of CAPS and when it's determined by the court that intervention is needed to keep a child physically safe or provide services for them, the court will appoint a CASA, which is a court-appointed special advocate, to advocate and be the voice of the child in court. At CAPS, volunteers assist in advocating for over 170 children at any given time, and that number does not include all of the ongoing investigations that occur every day in Elkhart County and all of the unreported abuse and neglect that we have in our community. Over the last couple of years, we've interviewed anywhere between 500 and 600 children per year. This year so far, as of July, we have interviewed almost 400 children. In 2020, we interviewed 10 children for those allegations of human trafficking. And this year so far, we have interviewed 24 children for human trafficking allegations. We advocate for the 13-year-old child who was trafficked by her mom and mom's boyfriend. We advocate for the 9-year-old child and the 3-year-old child whose mother sent nude pictures of them to her boyfriend. We advocate for the 10-year-old child who was trafficked by her parents in exchange for money and drugs. We advocate for the 15-year-old child who was impregnated at 13 by her father and had to raise her baby in his home for two years before she got help. We advocate for the 14-year-old child who was violently raped and strangled by her father. We advocate for the nine-year-old child who was molested by her mother. We advocate for the 11-year-old child whose nude pictures were circulated on the internet by her mother and her mother's boyfriend. We advocate for the six-year-old child who was molested by her dad. We advocate for the 14-year-old child who was impregnated by her stepfather while her mother supplied her drug addiction and had her living out of a van. Your support of CAPS allows us to identify and support victims and help law enforcement put perpetrators behind bars. Together, we can reduce the impact of abuse and trafficking and build a brighter future for Elkhart County.